All right, welcome back to your fourth tutorial on how to create Word documents. And from the last tutorial, you might be thinking, what is a paragraph? What, why do you need a run? What, what is a run? So uh, just to clear it up, the paragraph is most is actually used for the document style. So it's for um, it's it's mostly for you know for a text alignment if you want to align a text set in the center or if you want to change the space between uh, two lines or, or change the space between paragraphs. So that's what the paragraph is used for and the run is for the text itself. So it's going to change the uh, the text font, the text size and um, it's going to set it bold or whatever you want to do. So in this tutorial we will focus on the paragraph and see what kind of methods you can use to make your document look really awesome. So to get started I'll just type in some text for our document. So I'll say run.set text. I'll set it to uh, awesome and I'll copy that a couple times. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. So now we have some awesome text in our awesome document. And let's see what we can do with our paragraphs. So let's start by realigning the text. Uh, for that we have to import a class from the org Apache POI XWPF user model package and it's called the paragraph alignment. And with the paragraph alignment we can change the um, the way the text is going to be aligned. So we say paragraph dot set alignment and then we can say paragraph alignment dot and then we get the the option for center, left, right, I'll, I'll set it center. So we have a nice centered text and if we run that and open up awesome.docx you can see that our text is awesomely positioned in the center of our document. So we also can do it left, so uh, for this tutorial I'll just set it left. And let's see what else we can do. Um, we can also change uh, the indentation, indentation which means uh, leave some space in the first line or take some space away in the first line. So if we for instance say uh, set indentation hanging this basically says um, it's hard to explain I'll show you. So we can put in some number in here I'll just set it to 1000 and if we run that and open up our awesome document you can see what the hanging does. So here's our text and then from the second line on it's going to be a hanging text. So if we put some more text in here which is going to take fairly a few a little time you can see that the whole text is hanging you would say and then if I make a new line it's going to start on the left again. Alright, so that's what a hanging text is. And you can experiment with all of those. Let's see. So if we say paragraph dot set, uh, you're gonna see we can also change the border. So let's see if what we can do if we change the border. I'll change the uh, border bottom to something and for, for the border we need to import something from the same package so from the org apache poi xwpf user model 
and it's called the uh, borders. All right, and from there, we can say borders dot, let's set it to basic thin lines. So that's a, it, that's going to create a basic border at the bottom of the paragraph and it's going to be a thin line. I'm actually going to do that on the bottom and the top border. So I'll just copy that and change the border bottom to border top. So now the bottom and the, bo uh, and the top of the paragraph is going to have a black lined border. So if we run that and open up our paragraph, you can see now there's a black border on the bottom and on the top. Alright, so that's how you create borders. Now for the next things I'm going to show you, we need to create another paragraph. So just put some space in here and say xwpf paragraph and I'll just call it paragraph 2 equals to document dot create paragraph and I'm also going to create a second run so I'm going to say xwpf run run2 equals to paragraph2 dot create run and I'm also going to create some text in the run2 so I'll say run2 dot set text to this is the second paragraph Perfect. All right. So now we have our second para paragraph and our first paragraph. If I just open that up, so now you can see there's our second paragraph and there's our first paragraph. And let's say we want to change the space between the different lines. So what what we what you would normally do is you would go to format and then go to paragraph and then change the afterline to something like 24 and then this is going to change. So how are we going to do that in Excel? No wait, not Excel, <laughs> in Java. So we can simply say paragraph dot set spacing after and with the spacing after we can say how much space we want to leave after the paragraph. So we can for instance say leave a thousand of space. I don't know exactly what a thousand means but it's just going to leave a lot of space and if we open up awesome.docx again you can see there's a lot of space again and if I open up uh, format Oops, loading. If I open up format paragraph, ah, okay, so it's 50, 50 points. So I guess then, uh, let's see, then probably 100 is 5 points and 20 is then 1 point of space, you could say. So that's how you create some space after the paragraph. You can also leave a page break. So what is a page break? I'll show that to you. All we have to do for that is just say paragraph two dot wait, paragraph two dot set page break and set it to true. This means that uh, Word is going to put that ba uh, that paragraph onto a new page. So if I run that and open up our awesome document, you're going to see that there's now a lot of space. And if I click the arrow key down, you see that this text is going to be in on the next page. So that's what the page break does. Now, the last thing I want to I want to show you, um, I'm going to delete the page break again. 
So what I want to show you to you is how to count in a Word document. So you know if you have a usual Word document, you can say first apple pie, then it's going to automatically say second uh, sugar, three pancakes. So you can do that in Java as well. Although it's a little bit... Oh well, no, it doesn't matter. So, how do we do that? We'll say paragraph dot set num id. So that's going to create a number id for the counter. And for that we have to import something from uh, math dot uh, so we have to import something from Java, so we'll say import Java dot um, math and it's called the big integer. And of course I misspelled import. And with the big integer we can change the or we can create a num ID. So I'll say big integer dot and then I'll just choose one for this one and if I run that and open up our awesome document you can see there's now a first in here and if you want to put a second in our second param paragraph uh, this is only going to work in paragraphs and it's not going to work if you create separate runs so you have to create separate num IDs for that. So I'll have to say uh, paragraph two dot set num ID and it has to be the same number as in here. So I'll have to say big integer dot one for instance. And then if I run that and open up the document, you can see it now says first in here and second in here. So those are the most important methods you're going to need for the paragraph. If you have any questions, if something is not clear to you what I explained, leave a comment below or send me a me or send me a me blah, 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 or send me a message. And in the next tutorial we'll start looking at the run. So we'll look at how to format the text itself, set it bold, set it italic, change the font, change the size. So we're going to need we're going to do all that awesome stuff in the next tutorial. So, thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.